just watched Snatch picking up on the same thing as what Roxy picked up on in the front room. So I've just woke her up and there you go, little lady. Only a little bit of time because your bladder's playing up, isn't it? So we're having to give her measured waters so she can go out. without pissing over everything indoors. All right. Oh dear. You quite happy there? Good girl. You just lay there quietly while we sort all this out. Duchy of Cornwall, isn't it? Duchy of Cornwall, isn't it? Something's building in the Bay of Biscay again as well. Well, that will uh, mess up some non-GMO crops, won't it, in Russia? And it's all going west to east. So just like the earthquakes, you look upstream for the problem. Let's uh, let's look upstream. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and may the force be with you. It is early morning, May the 4th, 2020. And the sun is up, and the clouds are all around. And the birds are singing. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back after a day and a half break. There is so much crazy stuff going on right now. I can't really talk about it. Maybe. Uh, I will do my best to... Uh, okay, with all the gas giants on the same side and all planets are starting to get on the same side too, uh, we are expecting to see... This is... Saturn and Jupiter, the two biggest planets in our solar system. We're expecting to see an uptick of earthquake and volcano activity in 2020. We got a pretty big volcano eruption in Japan 15 hours ago. We got a 5.4 earthquake in Taiwan about 21 hours ago. Um, May 2nd, I believe. And so let me give you a little bit of beans on the models like two or three days ago. Um, and so, you know, when 
Most places have been predicting a pretty active, very active hurricane season. But, as the Dabu, the Florida Wave Master reports, breaking, the GFS is still broken. Last week, spun up two cyclones at the same time, high in the Bay of Bengal. And so, it looks like that trend may continue. We're going to follow it extremely closely. Although, in the last storm, we only had one tornado. Um, this is upstream. A lot of nasty straight line winds, so we're going to have to watch out. For this is what happens when the jet stream gets messed about with and some straight line winds. to control the weather over and the U.S. It affects everything this storm downstream from it. Bad. Compared to like all the things going on, I wouldn't say this storm is our biggest worry. But if you were in Oklahoma City, Kansas City, Tulsa, Overland Park, Springfield, Missouri, let me show I you how. Keep an eye out. And then Tennessee and Georgia. Missouri, Arkansas, you may want to watch a little, and then there's a little bit of Texas in there. Now we got a decent little storm moving in the Appalachians, and then some up in the central northwest. I guess there's no central northwest, it's just central north. You can keep an eye on it, you can listen to the And of course the signal goes Ohio, while I'm trying to do it. Pennsylvania, Kentucky, yeah. And you're getting some other Montana. Hang on. And Whatever state that is, which is Mark. Asterisk. We are under 100 rivers flooding, so that's decent for this early in May, but we will keep an eye on it. Need to calm Great down weather. because I'm Best in sly mode. It's got us all watching the Atlantic around the middle of May. Possible cyclonic activity. Then nobody's ringing any alarm bells right now because. See if the video's on here or whether I've got to type in something else. Yep, let's just add one word to it. There it is. Next Rad Weather Control. How it works. Turning natural storms into biblical floods. Weather War 101. Weather War 101. Intro to Next Rad Heart. Generated ionized clouds. U.S. Patent 5041834 Abstract. This invention relates to generation of an artificial ionospheric mirror. By altering the phase or frequency of the array elements, the focal point... This is how they move a storm from the Gulf of Mexico up into the jet stream floods. to UK. Tracking Tropical Storm Lee and National NEXRAD activity. September 3, 2011 to September 6, 2011. Tropical Storm Lee reaches the coast of the United States. Alright, Tropical Storm down here. Technology used to force the storm up here into the jet stream path which heads to the UK and Europe and more importantly Russian GMO fields GMO free crops because America sells GMO crops genetically modified crops and Russia sells natural non-altered food so the weather what they're manipulating up here and down here gets funneled into the jet stream 
and downstream. So I'll just leave that with you.